Okay, hey y'all. So I am here to do what's in my diaper bag. Um, it was a highly requested video, so I'm here to do it. Um, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because the little man is asleep right now. Um, and so I know he's going to be waking up pretty soon. Um, but I have a Petunia Pickle Bottom um, boxy backpack. Um, I, this is literally, I'm just showing you exactly what's in my bag um he will be three months on monday so um on the 24th and so i really wanted to give myself a couple months like have outings out before i did this because i feel like before i you know just had what i thought i needed in my back or in my uh, diaper bag and this is actually packed for our this past weekend when we were away from the house for like three plus hours so it does have a lot more diapers than I typically would have in here um, but everything else is basically the same so um, I also keep just um, an FYI in my car I keep extra diapers I have like a little plastic bin that's in my car that has extra diapers an extra change of clothes and boogie wipes and then um, some like fun toys and then an extra like one of his wub and ups um, I have in the car so those are like quickly things like if I don't have them in my diaper bag then I keep them in there um, so that's just a side note and an extra receiving blanket just in case I need it um, so in the uh, diaper bag um, I really like this diaper bag. Maybe I'll do a separate video um, about a review for this because this is just about what's in my diaper bag. Now, I have them on the backpack straps because we were out a lot um, and walking around and mobile and I even wore um, him at the mall. So I had him up front and then my backpack on the back. Um, I really like the backpack straps and I like that. So um, I always keep the other strap if I'm not using the backpack straps or I'm not using the crossover strap. I keep that in this little pocket over here. Um, I, he I have a little sanitizer, um, hand sanitizer little thingy. I got this from Target. I just keep it on the outside. And then over here I have a passy pod from Giggle Baby um, by JJ Cole. And it doesn't have a passy in it right now, but typically I have one to two passies on hand at all times. Um, okay, so if you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. Um, I know that one of the things about um, the Petunia Pickle Bottom was that, you know, it's not all open. You can't just see everything. And that was something that I was concerned about. I haven't found it to be an issue with one baby. Um, I do think that if, you know, we had another child, we would definitely have to invest in maybe a wider um, diaper bag just because uh, I feel like you would have to, like, see everything. Um, I don't know. So that's my one little thing. But when you go into this guy, um, you have... So you have these zippers and they zip out into a changing pad, which I love this. Um, and then up here I have some diapers, some extra diapers. Now we cloth diaper throughout the week um, and during the day, but um, we use disposables when we're out and then at night. So um, we use the Honest diapers and I just keep three handy right here in this pocket. And then I have these little diaper sacks by Sassy. And then over here I have Pamper Sensitive Wipes. We typically use the Honest Wipes, but these are just easy for on the go. And then I have an extra bottle of hand sanitizer, um, which I just keep right up here. Um, and so that's all readily available. Um, so I really like that. And let's see. And then in the diaper bag itself, um, on top I always have my wallet. And then I have a little pack of makeup. So this just has my lip glosses and um, my concealer for little touch-ups. Um, and then on the top I have a burp cloth. Um, and we use these a lot now that he's slobbering more and um, whenever we bottle feed him the breast milk. Um, I have a little knitted hat. And then because we had like a full day, <laughs> um, this is kind of ridiculous, but I have a ton of diapers in here. Um, and it does fit all of these. <laughs> so I have like all of these diapers. And some of these I actually just needed to clean out anyways. I have like old pampers in here. Um, but yeah, so I 
overpacked those diapers because we were going to be out for so long um, and far away from the house. So um, I also have a receiving blanket and I just keep that right in this middle pocket or this side pocket. Um, and then I have a pacifier clip thingy um, that I actually usually keep in this guy. Like I said, this is true to form what my diaper bag looked like this weekend, um, but I usually keep that over here so it's handy. And then in this other um, compartment right over here on the side, I have a large Ziploc like freezer bag that has a um, three month outfit, socks, pants, and a shirt or onesie, um, and then a bag for any soiled clothing um, so that I can transport it home without it stinking up the bag or making it dirty or anything. So I keep that in this other side little pouch. Um, and then this diaper bag also has little pouches on this side that are kind of thin and long so they're perfect for bottles um, and I put my bottled water in there. And then in the other side of it, it has another one. And in there, I have a little security blanket. Um, he's really starting to grasp blankets and I don't really want him to be grasping his long blankets and bringing it over his face. So this is really nice um, for the stroller and he just grabs it and puts it up to his mouth. Um, and then I have these Tommy Tippy um, Closer to Nature Pacifier Nipple Teether and Toy Wipes love these because um, when you're out and you only have two binkies and it falls on the floor you need those um, and then I have a very I need to clint, I need to um, get more of these but I have boogie wipes so I keep my wipes on that side pouch and as you can see you can fit so much in this little little thing so I just um, keep those items in here and then Back here, I have a little zipper pouch that when you open it, oh, it was open, it has extra pacifiers. We cannot be without pacifiers. So I have an extra pacifier clip and an extra pacifier. He's not even using these, so I don't know why I have this one in here, but these are the Tommy Tippy ones and he doesn't really love the nipple on these right now. Um, and that's it. So that's what I have in there. Um, and that's what I have in this diaper bag. Um, the one thing I can say is that I really love having a big diaper bag like this for day trips and especially because we live where we live is a smaller community so we have to drive um, pretty like 20 to 30 minutes to get to somewhere um, for shopping or anything like that. So. Um, yeah, so I really love to have this in my car. Now what I'm going to start doing, because I was using just my purse, um, I actually just purchased this Skip Hop diaper clutch. And um, this I think will be great to have in addition to this. Like if I'm having a day trip out, I take this but then have diapers and, and just some little essential accru accoutrements um, that I just need to like run in with him if I'm by myself. Um, because when you have this and you have the baby and you have the car seat and you have the stroller and everything by yourself, it just gets to be a lot. So um, yeah, I think that that'll be really nice to have. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, so that's what is in my diaper bag with my almost three month old. Um, I really love this diaper bag. I have nothing negative to say about it. Um, it's been wonderful. I love it. And it fits so much stuff. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you're enjoying our day in the life on Tuesdays and our random vi or my random videos on Thursdays. Um, let me know in the comments below any videos that you would like to see on Thursdays. Um, I am trying my best to hit up all of your videos that you're um, suggesting because um, y'all are coming up with some great ideas. So thank you so much and have a